What is up guys? Today I'm showing you how to hack Clash of Clans. It's actually two ways how to hack Clash of Clans. Number one way is actually pretty easy. All you want to do is um go to Google and you want to type in uh Tutu apps. Tutu app. Now you want to go to a website, download it, um Make sure you're not downloading a virus. This will work for Android. iOS, I think. I think the second method works better with iOS. But this version will work with Android. You don't need to mod anything. You don't need to mod a phone. You don't, you don't need your phone jailbroken. Doesn't matter, guys. So after you download this app, um, I've already downloaded it, so I don't have to re-download it for y'all. But I'm going to open it right now. Uh, I don't want to update it, guys, because it doesn't really do much. But... There's Clash Royale in here. There's pretty much Spotify. There's everything you could ask for. But uh, um, you just want to get Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans, M-O-D. It's got to have M-O-D at the end or it will not work. Like you think it will. Sorry about that black screen. A.K.A. means there's an ad popping up. Don't need to know about no ad. But you want to open. After you install, you will open it. Now, it actually won't come up as the normal Clash of Clans. It'll be like S3 modded something something but it's still the normal crash clinch you can still version your friends on facebook and everything i can't do it right now because it's 10 o'clock at night and well everyone's in bed <laughs> but uh after you load in it's gonna take a little bit but after you load in you'll notice you have heaps of gems heaps of money heaps of everything okay um i'm already level 25 in this i don't really play it that much but you know uh there's a lot of people who play it out there like people will love it out there, but you know. But just to show it, it really is modded. I'm actually show you when I open it up. It might just take a little bit. But like I said, you don't need no thing. You can actually mod any app with these two methods I'm going to show you. Pretty easy stuff. Um, Yeah. Just going to let it low though. It's taking a little while, ain't it? Ah, look, it's finally moving up, though. It just takes a little while to load because it's got to get all my stuff in. Because I've got multiple things on this. Um, Make sure you update it, though. Because if you don't update it, because it'll show at the front that it, it's like, okay, start game. But it'll be like, if you read it, it's like, update. And if you update it, you can play with your friends. I don't think I've updated it. Like I said, I don't play it that much. So, yeah. Look, we're finally in. As you can see, I've got... um. Max gems right there, guys. Um, it's actually pretty crazy, guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pop into the next tutorial how to do it. Alrighty guys, we are back, and um, the second way to do it is that, once again, you have to go to Google or Chrome or whatever you're using, and download this app called Lucky Patcher. Now, Lucky Patcher, it will say it's unstable and everything, but it's all good, guys. My phone hasn't been doing anything, so, obviously, it's okay. But, um, it'll come up here, and you can actually mod any app in this. So, let me give you an example. If I can find an app that I want to mod... Uh, I saw an app before I wanted to mod. Butter, 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 butter. Here, it's Spring Drift. Okay, so you want to go to Tools? Wait, no, you don't want to go to Tools. You have to go Open pa Menu uh, Patches. Create APK File. Uh, APK File Rebuild for In-App and LVLE Elimination. Or something like that. Rebuild the app. And just got to wait, guys. Now, this will take actually for like a long time. Because it's pretty much rebuilding the app. Like, going down from the database, rebuilding it off of it being modded and everything. 
Yeah, guys, it's going to take a little bit longer for this app. So I'm not going to sit here and show you guys all this because, like I said, it's going to take a long time. But it does work. You can trust me with this. Okay, guys? But, um, yeah, if you like this video, click that like button. If you um, want to subscribe, go ahead. I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to be every other YouTuber what's actually abusing subscribe buttons and like buttons these days. But that's all, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. See you, bros. Bye.